Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday, everybody. Let me just get a hello, a little chat back. Everybody okay there? All right, good, good to see you, Ken, JJ. There we go, George. Look at these great names. Look at that, Tim, Neil, Craig, Ted, Deb, fine. Good to see you. Deb, how's everything going? Gene, Rich, Pamela, everyone. All the great cyber traders. All right, everyone. I hope everyone's excited. Today is Thursday. The, it is the 23rd, and unfortunately, we still got about another week left. We are going into the probably the biggest, slowest times of the year because this is the end of summer. Um, I will actually be away this weekend uh, taking my son, uh, to, to our, our firstborn, to college, which is probably the – uh, my wife's been really, really depressed about it. You know, she's going to miss her first, uh, her firstborn, but it's, it's great. You know what I mean? Listen, uh, eventually kids got to leave the nest. Right. And, uh, and not only that, but we're going to be on vacation. We're going to travel around over the weekend and stuff like that. And I, and I'm the reason I'm telling you this because everybody's doing the same thing. Kids going back to college now. Some already went back about a week ago. Uh, people are, sp are taking these biggest vacations now into this time of the season. What that means is that, you know, and, oh, oh and then over also, you got Labor Day that's coming up the following weekend. So that and once that goes through, then things are going to start kicking in in high gear. So you can see the market's not really doing anything this morning. But there are a couple of things that are moving. And especially what happened yesterday um, in the Phase 3 class. My God, we killed it yesterday. Um, I mean, we were basically printing money. Actually, one of the students, I don't want to pick on him, but he actually cost me about $300 because he was trying to be, wanted me to explain something that had nothing to do about the phase three. But uh, And I got all focused on the uh, off the stock and the thing just dropped about 30 cents on me. But that was great. Uh, anyway, a couple of things. Yeah, Mike, thank you very much for congratulating. That was great. Uh, nice class. It was, Grant. And you know what? Let's talk about that, that big, big winner because you guys got to understand this is what trading is all about. And uh, let, me see, let me just bring this up. All right. So anyway, this stock um, was was uh, moved up really, really nice yesterday. You could see this one. Hold on. Let me just bring up the other ones too. There were a lot of good stocks that had some really good moves. I just want to bring up this one, though. This one, the SSC, was one that we also had uh, yesterday. That one was basically probably the nicest as a level one stock. Um, we Actually, we had to sell this stock because we were making too much money in the other stock and ended up being a distraction. So, um, And we actually only lost like, I don't know, like a penny or two on this position. And it actually ran about – I mean, we owned it – I think we owned it at what, like uh, – we bought it like around, I guess it was like 18 or something like, 318 or 19, something like that. But anyway, uh, no, 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 it was like 320 or something like that. And then, But then you could see it ran all the way uh, going into the close. Let me just fix the time frame on that one. Yeah, it ran, it finally when we got out here around the 326, you could see it already ran to about 350, and it gapped up. Anyway, I'm still a fan of that stock, and this that stock is obviously coming back into our, you know, going into our close. A couple other ones like Urban Outfitters, A R B N. Great, great short on that position. I mean, you can see that stock uh, gapped up re uh, substantially, and then that was a great short, breaking lower lows. Momo, that one was good in uh, in the morning hours, did pretty well on that one. SMCI, that one also, great morning mover. That one had a nice little push. You know, everything that we were looking at, um, you can see how that thing uh, got pretty much uh, uh, decimated, but it made a little bit of a comeback. But uh, the EXAS was a really, really nice little mover right there. That thing just uh, gapped up pretty nicely, and it was a pretty easy mover. And you know what? Look at that. And we were talking about this yesterday. If you like the stock, you can always buy it back tomorrow. You know what I mean? And even though we sold it, and uh, you could see it gapped up. It didn't gap up that much, but you know what? Stock moved up nice. This actually was our big winner yesterday. We did really, really well on that one. The only thing was a little on the expensive side. I know some of you, you know, sixty-six dollars is not always our big, uh, our, 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 our favorite. But anyway, that stock still has a push on it, and it was great. I mean, the thing about that, we saw great, great high frequency trades and everything else. But the EXAS was awesome. All right. So, uh, but overall, it was a very, very slow week, you know, and we, we were teaching some of the class, and I told you, when we came into class, I said right away, and this is what you get by being part of cyber trading, 
you know, you get the experience. You get 25 years of me plus all my instructors and everything else. I've done it. I've seen it. And I told you, like, even in the advanced classes, you know what? I'm not really feeling it today. I don't think there's going to be anything going on. And the big thing is we learn how to control losses. But with yesterday going into the close, I said, you know what? I feel good today. We're going to make a lot of money going to this close. And, you know, and instead of making, you know, the $900 profit, I said, you know, and some of you would have been happy making 900 I said, you know what? I think the stock's going to go higher. But for some of you that only want to make the fifty hundred thousand dollars a year, you know, hey, you hit a home run, you hit a home run at nine hundred. Do that every day. There's your quarter million dollars a year. But we think we banged out about over two grand on that trade. Anyway, um, now let's go through a couple of stocks. By the way, everyone in in the room, if you see something, say something. A couple of you guys are already starting to call out a couple of stocks right now. We're going to check them out. Um, I got a good list right here, so I want to get you guys get ready. Uh, first of all, we got the QD that's moving. Deb Fine just called that one out right there. Uh, worth watching worth watching on a short. That's what WW means. It, that's kind of lingo that we kind of use to on a short version. Like I said, it's no difference than you guys texting. What does LOL mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a, same thing. We have our own little uh, abbreviations when it comes into the cyber group room, which is basically I learned being a market maker 25 years ago. So trying to just pass down the tradition. But anyway, we did pretty well in that. That's uh, that stock does look like a good short. It's got a nice little trend. Took a little bit of a hit right here. It's not down substantially. Great, great volume. 560,000 shares. Look at the matrix on the left. Look at all those iceberg orders all the way from ARCA, from NASDAQ, from BATS. All of them all aggregated in that matrix. Nice little move right there. Like that one. Pretty good call. But as of right now, uh, I don't know if it's on your short list, but make sure you always check first. All right. DB. Mike G says there's a nice little iceberg order. Actually, they're all over the place on this one. 25,000, 29,000. You know, I, 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 this stock, Deutsche Bank, you know, listen, I know the stock very well. This stock is a gapping stock. You can see from the long-term chart, this is not really a good day trading stock. It could be a little bit of a swing trading stock, but not, but not really something that we want to trade. Um, you know, not really something... Uh, which is our, our forte. Couple, now let's go through some of the stocks I did find this morning. So everybody get their pen and paper handy. We're going to write these things down. Uh, LX got by 13%, 51,000 shares already traded. She's gapping up pretty nicely. Looks like she's going to be testing these resistance levels right around here. You know, you can see you got some orders out there. Uh, look over here in the matrix. Not huge, but when you get around... The thirteen uh, dollar price, you could see some twelve thousand, a lot of two hundreds there. But we got some good iceberg orders on that one. Not great, but okay. Everybody remember the uh, NEWA? All right, so that one we've been watching got destroyed. That one went from twenty nine dollars down to nine. All right. She's starting to build a little volume. She's starting to phase down. They're getting a little bit of a bottom fish right here. So some of us that did trade it, remember what I told you. You want to be a good swing trader. You want to be a good option trader. You damn well know how to day trade first because by understanding what's happening over the course of the day, you'll say, hmm, you know what? I don't want to tie my buying power, but this does look like a good little swing trade. Uh, and this obviously is doing pretty well. So anyway, that one made the Fausto list also. LNJU. Found this one this morning, too. This one uh, gapped up huge this morning at $2, but she's backing off. She's holding some good support levels right here. Uh, she was at as high as a 2. She dropped down to a buck 45, you know, up 16%, 179,000 shares. Look at the matrix over there. A lot of big buyers and sellers, a lot of iceberg orders out there. Nothing humongous, but there is a couple of them. Look, 22,000 share buyer at a buck 28 makes perfect sense. You know, when you look at right here where it was yesterday. So you got those limit orders already defaulting, which is pretty good. WSM, another one I found this morning in pre-market gapped up really, really nicely. A little on the expensive side though, but you know, it looks like basically an earnings announcement. Whenever you see that, that not knowing it's an earnings, but when I see something like that, that's basically someone came out with news. Not a lot of um, – remember what I taught you in class yesterday regarding about what is really level two really good for? It's really worthless, but it does have a little bit of value on it uh, regarding about the sizes. So go back and review it. Um, and you could see what I'm talking about. Once again, I'm not going to give away the secrets. You got to be in class to go over. It's a big explanation, but you can see if you look at the sizes, that kind of turns me off about that one. Everybody's talking about Alibaba this morning. All right, guys, we're not trading Alibaba. All right, it's $184 stock. All right, just forget it. 
get it out of here. Why am I going to risk one hundred eighty-four thousand dollars? I could. I, I'd rather trade NEWA or you know uh, SSC or EXAS a fraction of the money. It's all about risk to reward. All right. Not that it's a bad company. Not that you can't make money with it. All right. And not that like, well, I can't afford it. So oh, well, someone told me just trade the options. Listen, we're here to make a day's pay. We're here to sleep at night, not 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 worry about uh, you know having uh, nightmares you know in the middle of the night. So anyway, that is going to be a scratch. You know, listen, if you got if you're a level five trader, you got if you if you got a half a million in your account, then definitely this is right up your alley. But other than that, stay away from it. The big one I liked uh, out of all of them, dude, what's going on AMD? AMD is on fire. This is Josh's favorite stock. He's doing well on it. He, you know, Look at this thing. Stock is already a double on a swing trade. How did it get there, everyone's asking? How did I not know that? You should have been watching it over the course of the day. The writing was on the wall. You saw orders taken out. It is a little bit of a brand name stock. We know the stock's got a couple of shakes in it, a little nervous, but you know what? AMD's been pretty good. Not only has been a good day trade, it's been a very, very, very good swing trade. SSC, once again, we know about that one. That's on the watch list and the EXAS. All right, night, uh, one other stock I do want to bring up, which you know I'm a very big fan of, BJ's. Guys, BJ's is a sleeper, all right? I still have the swing trade on it. The stock is, is an IPO. It is getting pretty damn close to its 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 all-time highs, all right? It's already at 27.40. We, we held for a little bit of a nasty shake. It went down to 24 bucks. I wasn't scared of the stock because if you look at it, it's a gorgeous Fausto flag. It looks like it's going to test a higher high. Let's see if it breaks that double top, all right? But this is not a day trade. This is a swing trade, um, so BJ is doing pretty well. All right, anything I'm call uh, that I missed out that I didn't call out? Benito says the, uh, the QD trade. Uh, shares are down 13% pre-market. The move is being attributed to early reports of um, – Anti-financial ending of the partnership with uh, with the company. All right, so obviously that's not pretty good news, Benito. And once again, it reflects the stock. How, how much higher? How much lower? Just listen. Just be the ants. Follow who's dropping the crumbs, and that will make your life a lot easier. All right. Uh, anything else I, I'm missing? I did not call out. Listen, it's third. Just put it out there. I'll look at them really quick. But I want you to get you guys ready. You got about 10 minutes before the market opens up, and I want to share this with the YouTube. Um, uh, so I need to get this video posted up there. Anything I'm missing? LB, um, LB, uh, was it? Was this uh, L Brands? Um, and not really doing anything. It's down. It's testing support levels. It's got good volatility. Decent, uh, decent, uh, decent volume on the iceberg. I'm not a huge fan of it, but you know, we'll, 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 I will put this on. I'll put this on a two category, not a one. Right now, I, I like the other ones a little bit better. Listen, there's always new ones that open up. So only about two or three is going to move. We'll find some new ones that will come out out of the woodworks. As we see them, we'll share them with you. But other than that, this is what we got to work with, and that's pr perfectly normal. It's the summertime. You're in the, you're in the heat of things, and that's what it's all, all that matters. So you know, enjoy your summer because make sure you review those classes that you were taught in, in, in the phase one, two, and three. That is where your time needs to be spent. You know, because this is Sunday football, and when Sunday football comes in, you got no time to learn. You got time to trade and make money. So go out and do it. So with that said, guys, I don't see you this week. Uh, see you tomorrow because it is going to be a beautiful day here in New York. I know some of you guys want to go out and spend your money, enjoy it. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you train for. Go out there and do it. If I see you, I'll be here. I'll be happy to be, and we'll see what we could do. In the meantime, good luck, everyone. See you back at 2:30 for the afternoon meeting. All right. Good luck, everyone.